Now then, from bands from America to a little bit closer to home, and it's time for Star Rock Unsigned, and we are continuing to unearth some of the very good local rock talent that's out there. Tonight we're going up to Ely. We've got a band from Ely. They're called After Effect. We're joined by all three members of the band. We have Neil, Sam, and Drew. How are you doing, guys? Hello. Hey. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, all right. It's actually the first band I think I've had on the show for a while, actually, from Ely. What is the music scene like up in Ely these days? Uh, yeah. Shocking dead there's, there's not one non-existent so do you find that you have to come down to Cambridge to get your gigs yeah or go most, firm most of the time. or make the gigs ourselves <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah or they organise them ourselves yeah. so. now for, the, for our listeners who you know possibly aren't familiar with your band just tell us a little bit about the band how long you've been together and the kind of music you play uh, well we formed in 2005 um there was a different lineup. then there was a, a, an extra guitarist and a different drummer at that point in time um and then we kind of lost them and got Neil and are better than we ever were then. Mm. Um, Three or four years down the line. Yeah. And what sort of music would you say it is? Other than uh, rock. What about some of the influences? Uh, influences, uh, we were like, uh, like Weezer, Stereophonics, Foo Feeder, Fires. Foo Fighters. Mm, Manic Street Preachers. Yes. Manic Street Preachers, yeah. Um, <laughs> Just that sort of thing. Yeah. Oasis in there as well. Maybe. And what's it like then being in a fledgling band in Cambridge these days? I mean, uh, some of the venues are starting to close, but, you know, venues like the Barfly we used to have this year is no longer around. Obviously, the, mm. the, the, the boat race is long gone. Are you finding it difficult to get gigs? Um, a little bit. Yeah, like good gigs, I think, is particularly difficult to get. I mean, you can get your average ones, your Man of the Moons and stuff, but... The average um, ones. Yeah, yeah. Average, yeah, but, like, if you want to get a proper good one, like your junctions and stuff, you know, it's more difficult than ever, really. Yeah. I think there's so many more up and coming bands. It's quite a, it's quite difficult to, you know, get in get in with it all. Really, isn't it? Mm. I do find that when I look on MySpace, that I was, you know, it just seems like everybody is in a band these days. MySpace, <laughs> I guess, is is both good and bad for bands, isn't it? A band can yeah. get lost amidst all the millions of bands on there, uh, but also it's a good. Do you, I mean, do you still find that it's a good vehicle for getting your music out there? That's the only one we've got. We ain't got a website or anything, have we? I think the MySpace is good because you can keep, obviously, the bands, we all get in touch with each other and we can organise gigs through MySpace, which I think Drew's done before, and I think it's just a good way of keeping bands together. I mean, you know, if you haven't got their phone numbers and such, I think it's, it's a good way of keeping yeah, connected, really, with is. all the other bands. Right. Well, well, listen, we'll play some music in just a second and let people hear the music of uh, After Effect, but uh, if people like what they hear, if they want to check you out live, Please. when's the next chance to do so? Uh, our next gig is at The Man on the Moon on Norfolk Street um, on the 6th of March. Which is Drew's birthday. On your birthday. Oh, my birthday. Everyone should come down and wish uh, Drew a happy birthday on that particular gig. And Man on the Moon's a good little venue, isn't it? <laughs> you played it there is before? a good venue. It is. We've played there about too many times. Yeah. 200 times. <laughs> <laughs> And really? do you find that the promoters, like, you know, there's, there's kind of phrases like pay to play these days. Do you find that when, mm -hmm. when promoters pull you on, that there's pressure to bring an audience with you? Um, there is, but, you know, it's always good to bring an audience because you look, you know, look a lot better, but sometimes you can't bring them and it doesn't really matter too much. Though. You shouldn't have to bring an audience. Right? Yeah. I think people should want to hear live music all the time anyway. Absolutely. Tell me After Effects plans for world domination and what happens after this Man on the Moon gig? What's the plan? After the Man on the Moon gig, we um, try and get more gigs to promote the CD, uh, Big Bad World. Um, I mean, hopefully we'll have a few more tracks uh, mastered by then. They're sort of patent pending at the moment, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and obviously it's then getting out of Cambridge and pushing up further into the wilderness, Manchester and such, you know. Yeah, excellent. Get yeah, away from indeed. it. Definitely Manchester. Let's play the music then. We've got the EP in front of us here, After Effect and the Big Bad World EP. We're going to play the title track. Who wrote this one? What's it about? Um, I wrote it. Um, it's probably one of the only songs with meaning to it. It's about um, the end of the world coming and not being able to tell the one you love that you love them. That's a pretty big meaning. Yeah. If you, I suppose if, if the rest of your songs are technically <laughs> meaningless, that's a pretty, that's a pretty yeah. highbrow subject to so go for, isn't it? I think it makes up for the fact that the others are in about rubbish. Excellent. <laughs> the band are called After Effect, and it's the title track from the band's EP. You can hear this on their MySpace page as well. And uh, it's Big Bad World. Guys, thanks very much for speaking to us. No Thank problem. you. Thanks a lot. There you have it. After Effect, tonight's uh, Star Rock unsigned band. I have to say, there's some great bands in Cambridgeshire, and that is definitely one of them. Big Bad World. And you can check out more at myspace.com forward slash After Effect The Band.